We are super excited to get this parade rolling today, folks. If you would be so kind as to find your place on the side of the street, we are going to start the parade a few minutes early because we have some inclement weather run, uh, pouring in. Literally pouring in. Pouring in is a great way to say it. But I don't Not feel yet. like it's going to rain on our parade. I, it might a little bit, but it won't rain on our spirits. That's right, because I'm so excited for this year's parade. I'm thrilled. We might as well just go ahead and kick this off, shouldn't we, Lisa? Let's do it, Carrie. All right. Well, guys, hello, Springboro, and welcome to the 33rd annual Christmas in Historic Springboro Parade. Doesn't Main Street look gorgeous? I feel like it's even busier than last year. Maybe some more food trucks, but I haven't had a chance to eat yet, so that's first on my list totally, after the parade. Totally. Well, I'm Carrie Robbins with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Professional Realty, and I'd like to introduce my co-host again for this year's parade, the lovely Lisa Wade. I am so excited to be back again this year in the best seat in Springboro <laughs> for the parade. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. Is everybody else ready for a great parade this year? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all, first of all, for braving the weather. We appreciate you all coming out this morning. Lisa, what are you most looking forward to seeing in the parade this year? I think this year I'm really excited to see the kids. Yeah. And the reason, Carrie, is because it's so fun to see our youth mm -hmm. in the different clubs and sports activities sure. stroll down the street with everybody lining the street to support them. It just gives you so much excitement and hope. I agree. It's so, And it's so neat to see all of the different organizations and clubs and sports that weren't available when we were children. That's right. There are so many new things that you can do. I agree. I, I think it's so cool. And look at this. Our parade is underway, folks. Let's we are welcome. On. I see flashing lights. Yes. That means we are starting. This is wonderful. So exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the official start of the Christmas in Springboro parade. And we'd like to welcome the Springboro Police Department with Chief Jeff Kreidoff. Hi, Bentleys. Merry Christmas. And of course, Officer Blue. He's friendly and you can pet him. That's my favorite. We love Blue. And the Clear Creek Fire District Honor Guard. The mission of the Clear Creek Fire District Honor Guard is to serve as representatives of the fire department at formal occasions as directed by the fire chief. The Honor Guard projects a positive image of the department and its members by performing as a well-trained professional team at local and national events. We have the Springboro Police Honor Guard. Warren County Sheriff's Office, Larry Sims. And look who we have now. Hello, Sparky. <laughs> we always love Sparky the Fire Dog in Clear Creek Fire District. He doesn't care if it rains, he's protected. The Clear Creek Fire District is a full service fire department providing fire, emergency medical, and rescue services to the citizens and guests of Clear Creek Township and the city of Springboro. I see friendly smiling faces in that truck that I recognize. And we welcome our township trustees and el elected officials. I love the big fire trucks. You always do. It's my favorite. I get so excited. I get excited too. And we thank our elected officials for all they do. Absolutely. We appreciate all their time and energy. We most definitely do. Oh, look at these beautiful horses. With our Springboro City Council and Mayor John Egenbrook. Hello, everybody. Hi, you guys City are Council looking good and Mayor. Today. Hi, how are you? Great to see all of you. What a beautiful way to come through the parade. I'm kind of jealous, but I still think we have the best seats. I, I agree. I think we've got the best seats in the house. Looking up, I see our Grand Marshal might be coming down the street. This is Nikki Gullick, and we welcome her as our Grand Marshal today. And it looks like she has a sidekick with her as well. Hello. Miss Gia. Hi, gorgeous. Hello. 
And they're going with the Frozen theme this year. Yes. All right, the Jeannie Moreland Dancers. This is exactly what I was talking about, seeing the kids come down the street and these little girls are so adorable in their pink. They are. The and they Jean have the perfect princess wave. The Jeannie Morner Bor Moreland dancers will be performing their new Christmas holiday show at 1.30 p.m. today in the main entertainment tent. Featuring classic and modern holiday songs, the dancers ages 3 to 16 will perform ballet, lyrical jazz, and hip-hop routines. Preschool age dancers, intermediate, and advanced level students from the Jeannie Moreland Dance Theater in Springboro will perform. New winter dance classes will begin in January. Check out the Jeannie Moreland Dance Theater website for complete information. Thanks for being in the parade, ladies. We They've have been a working on their wave. Oh, yes, they are. They're doing great. We have dancers, we have reindeer, and as always, we have the Grinch. We have the Grinch. He's very Grinchy. And I see our Springboro Special Olympics team approaching with the Chick-fil-A mascot. All right, Springboro Special Olympics team sponsored by the Washington Township and Cornerstone Crossing Chick-fil-A is being pulled by Tim Smith, who is one of the Springboro Special Olympic coaches and the father of two of our Special Olympic athletes. The Springboro Special Olympics team was established in 1995 with just two athletes. Today, the team has 58 athletes wow. who compete in local and statewide events. The group is part of the Montgomery County Special Olympics delegation with athletes that range in age from 9 to 40 years old. The team looks forward to a great 2019-2020 sports season and they can't wait to represent Springboro at the 2020 State Special Olympic Games at the Ohio State University. This is River Valley Credit Union. River Valley Credit Union's vision is to transform the financially complex into a refreshing member experience that helps make member dreams come true. And we're getting bubbles. Thank you for the bubbles. I love bubbles. It reminds me of the Lawrence Welk show, doesn't it? The Springboro High School hockey team is up next. The varsity hockey team, they're proudly supported by the Springboro Panthers Hockey Association. Come out to support the team. The home games are played at South Metro Sports Complex off of Austin Boulevard. And they are our most Springboro Spirit float winner. So congratulations, congratulations, Springboro High School Hockey. That's awesome. They have spirit. Yes, they do. They definitely do. <laughs> ah, coming up next is the A Able Float. We were talking about them in our pre-parade chat. absolutely were, and they are into the theme. They are. All right, the A Able family of companies, your local heating and cooling, plumbing, electrical pest control, and bathroom remodeling experts because it's always something. And guys, the A Able Abel is the wonderful foster parents of Rufus, the most famous dog in Springboro. And this is the Burrow Ponies. This is also one of my favorite things is to see all the horses. This is a group of friends from Sunnyside Stables and r, &R Ranch that love their ponies. And we love people who love their ponies. That's right. This is great. Especially when they show them off for us at I the parade. I love it. Wonderful. Life Connection of Ohio is the nonprofit organization that promotes and facilitates organ donation in West Central Ohio. Walking today are people whose lives have been touched by organ donation. This is our first place float. Congratulations, Grace Point Fellowship. Congratulations. Just celebrated their fourth anniversary as a new family-friendly yeah. church here in the Springboro Franklin area. And this past year, moved into their new permanent location right off I-75. They are in the process of building a gym and more kid space and now offer two services at 9.30 and 11 every Sunday. Congratulations, what a beautiful flow. That is awesome. 
All right, next up we have Cub Scout Pack 730. Cub Scout Pack 730 along with Southwest Church. Wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Here we have the Springboro High School Marching Band. They've maintained a proud tradition of excellence throughout the region at Ohio Music Education Associated Educated Events, Mid-States Band Association Marching Band Competition, and Band of America Regional Championships. They'll represent Springboro High School, High School in April of 2020 as it marches in Disney Magic Music Days Parade at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. How cool is that? That's awesome. And next we are going to welcome the Springboro Sideline Cheerleaders. All right, Panther fans, stop your feet and clap your hands. Here come your Springboro High School cheerleaders. These ladies are no stranger to spreading cheer around our community. Their first home basketball games are Friday, December 13th, when the Mighty Panthers take on the Trotwood Rams. We have the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, Unit 342. They're among more than 1.7 Girl Scouts in the world. They're, they are G-I-R-L-S, go-getters, innovators, risk-takers, and leaders who believe they can change the world, and I believe it too. I know they can change the world. Go get them, ladies. That's right. I love it. G-I-R-L-S. Exactly. I was a Girl Scout. Were you a Girl Scout? I was not. You should go out there and march right No, now. no. <laughs> I think I've aged out of the Girl Scouts, haven't I? I don't think that's I? possible. <laughs> We have a lot of Girl Scouts walking today, and they all look amazing. Hi, guys. I know. They look warm and happy. <laughs> oh, and here comes our adorable Daisy Troop. Hi, ladies. Welcome to the parade. Oh, and here comes one of our favorite parts of the parade, and it's the Springboro Veterinary Hospital Yay. Pet Parade. Dr. Beal has been part of the Springboro community for almost 40 years, and he has never missed a parade. We're glad to have you guys again this year. You always make us smile. And we love to see all the pets. And of course, we love having the Beal family, Drs. Gary and Dr. Chip Beal running the practice now and then of course julie and nicole being on main street with us hi dr veal hi dr veal thanks for being with us love you. hi guys <laughs> carrie's getting compliments on her attire today you do look very frosty thank you you're I'm, welcome thank you i was trying to win a float award but you know <laughs> I was excited for this next group. This is really great. Really neat. Here are the Irish Wolfhounds presented by the Coo and Crack Club. Irish Wolfhounds are the tallest breed of dog. In olden days, they used to hunt wolves, deer, and wild boar. Today, they are known as gentle giants because of their calm and sweet dispositions. Irish wolfhounds are very fond of Santa. They dream about pulling Santa's sleigh, but everyone knows dogs can't fly. <laughs> and we have Art Fest on Main. Something very near and dear to my heart. Art Fest on Main, Springboro's premiere summer event presenting talented artists from all around the country along with an art parade, music, food, a children's art tent, and beer and wine garden, all loaded, located in the center of charming historic Springboro. Who is this? This is Bright Beginnings Christian Preschool, and they are the second place float. Hi, guys, looking good today. 
Bright Beginnings Christian Preschool and First United Methodist Church of Springboro would like to wish everyone a happy and healthy Christmas and a blessed New Year. Our second place is looking pretty frosty. People have really done well with the theme this year. It's such a good theme and it's so fun and you can go so many different ways with Agreed. it. Agreed. Agreed. I love the wagons and I love the snowflakes. I know. If it's going to rain, I wish it would just snow. I agree. Don't you agree? I agree. But it looks like everybody's <laughs> bundled up and happy today. Hi, everybody. Congratulations on your win. I love all the bundled up little ones. Aren't I they do precious? Too. Especially when they put their little earmuffs on. They I look know. so cute. Ah, I see New Spring Church approaching. New Spring Church, located right here on Main Street, loves serving Springboro and the surrounding communities. New Spring is passionate about helping individuals and families find freedom, discover their purpose, and live a truly fulfilled life while making a difference. Worship service is every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. and family night is every Wednesday at 7 p.m. New Spring believes life is better together. Get connected to a group, build your faith, and grow with people just like you. And we got our first snacks. Hey, we, we like snacks. Candy. We always love Thank snacks. Thank you, New Spring, <laughs> for the candy and the great participation in the parade today. And I love their t-shirts and their banner. You guys are looking good, you're looking matching, and I love it. What a nice big group from New Spring Church. You guys have a big group. This is amazing. I like the family night on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, that's, that's neat. really fun. You don't see a lot of that anymore. So no. that's a really nice thing to do in the middle of the week. I agree. It's a nice kind of midweek reconnect. Very fun. You know, while everybody's running around like crazy people with sports <laughs> schedules and work. That's right. All right, we've got the Springboro Pee Wee Cheerleading is a nonprofit cheer organization with almost 200 cheerleaders in grades second through six. Cheerleaders are there to cheer on and support the Wee Panthers football teams. Go Panthers! And they are followed by the Wee Panthers football. Wee Panthers football is a dedicated youth tackle football program from first through sixth grade and is driven towards teaching basic fundamentals of football at a competitive level. Thank you. More candy. I like when anybody gives me candy. These guys look pretty tough. I know. I bet we've got some Super Bowl champions out there today. You might be right. That's yeah. right. I like it. I like the attitude. I love it. I know we have some Super Bowl champions. All right. This is Performance Raps, and this is really impressive. Merry Christmas from Performance Raps. They're a local business that can help you advertise your business through custom vehicle wraps, storefront graphics, and wall wraps, too. Neat. And they did a Frozen theme on theirs. And integrity, heating, and cooling. Commercial and residential service for you with integrity, heating, and cooling. Hi, guys. <laughs> and I the see the king. I was going to say, I see the pizza king. Here comes Casano's, the original pizza king. Casano's has been Dayton's hometown favorite since 1953. Stop into the Spring Row location today and get a large deluxe, $15.99. <laughs> Thank you, sir. More candy for us. We're going to have a stash at the end. We've got people in the Christmas spirit. We do. Passing out candy. 
You know, I think we should take a moment to thank some of our Christmas in Springboro 2019 sponsors. Excellent. We've got Secure Cyber Defense, that's easy for me to say. Sure. Blue Vines Events and Marketing, Southwest Church, Ever Dry Waterproofing, Nikki Gulick with Henkel Schuler Realtors, Improve at Home Remodeling, Dayton Children's, and Agape for Youth. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We literally could not do it without for them. For helping us put on such an awesome parade every single time. Truly. Center Stage Academy of the Arts is owned and operated by Tammy Longworth and Becky Harding and has been in business for 35 years. Center Stage is a place where you can learn the arts of dance, voice instruction, and musical theater. They offer all genres of dance from ballet, jazz, tap, hip hop, lyrical, contemporary, kinder dance, combo classes, voice instruction, and musical theater to all ages. Center Stage is located in the brand new, beautiful Springboro Performing Arts Center at Rice Station Way in the center of town. Center Stage wishes you all a very Merry Christmas and invites all of you to come and explore the new Performing Arts Center. This is Cub Scout Pack 34. They're chartered by the Springboro United Church of Christ. The boys and girls of Pack 34 race pinewood cars, launch rockets, go camping, and so much more. They serve the community and have fun. Merry Christmas from Pack 34. Merry Christmas, guys. And well, they are our winners of the Most Original Float Award. So congratulations, congratulations Pack 34. Thank you for the candy cane, young man. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I think we may have a lull in the rain. I know. I think we're about to get really lucky with the weather. It wouldn't dare. Exactly. <laughs> I love seeing all the Cub Scouts, all the young people walking with their families. Yeah, it's really, really heartwarming to see the kids walk down the street. And we've got K99.1 FM, Cox Media, and I hear Nikki Montgomery is in the van today. This is Ultimate Leadership Martial Arts. They've been teaching leadership through martial arts in Springboro for the past 20 years, Carrie. Wow. Ultimate leadership, ultimate results. And next, we're welcoming our Junior Optimist Clubs of Springboro Schools. <laughs> Welcome, Junior Optimists. They are devoted to being responsible citizens in our community and positive influences in our schools by participating in service projects, education, and by practicing optimism in every situation. Oh, and look at the Beehive Homes of Springboro Mobile. How, what an original vehicle. This is an incredible float, you guys. You look great. Beehive Homes of Springboro is offering quality senior living with a boutique style. What an original way to decorate a, a little mini bus like that. It makes me want gingerbread. I know. <laughs> That's making I, me hungry, too. Here. I think I just want food. And 937 Inc., welcome to the parade. 937 Inc. Screen Printing, locally owned and print right here in historic Springboro. They specialize in spirit wear, team uniforms, company gear, and custom apparel. Please check out their website at www.937inc.com. A&S Party Rental is coming down the street with their great American Freedom Train. I love everything about the train. Carrie, here are our heroes. I know. I've been waiting all parade for these ladies. You've been waiting for yes. you guys. Welcome, Gem City Roller Derby. We've been waiting for you. Oh, I love thanks. it. Gem City Roller Derby is a women's flat track roller derby team 
Based in Dayton, Ohio, and is a registered nonprofit founded in 2006, Gem City plays nearly year round, fielding its competitive travel teams the Purple Rain, Violet Femmes, and Lavender Haze. The charter team Purple Rain is ranked number 57 in the world out of over 350 teams and is number one team in Ohio. Did you say 57 in the world? In the world. That How is cool really is impressive. that? And he is very proud of the Gem City. Well, and girl. you know, one of the Gem City Roller Derby gals is from Springboro, really? Miss Kim Ballman. Yes. I'm so excited to have them in our parade. And they are helping out with the face painting down at Eve's Inc. Look how fast this girl is heading down the street. Wow. They are so comfortable on those skates. I could never skate like that. Can you skate backward? Uh, probably not anymore. Back in the day, though. Yeah, back in the you day, for sure. Well, maybe not a pro, but I could do it without falling down. And that's really saying something. Oh, this is so awesome. They can skate and pass out candy. All right, approaching is F45 Training. Curious about F45 Training? is a fitness studio located in Springboro that specializes in functional training. Functional training is the engagement and exercises that mimic or recreate everyday movement. New clients receive one week free. All of these amazing opportunities can be found at F45 Training in Springboro and are aimed to make you look, move, and perform better in all aspects of your life. The Springboro Eagles and the Eagle Riders are here. 4014, men and women of the community, where there are people helping people. And Carrie, they are having an amazing event tonight with raffles, food, refreshments, and four bands, including Velvet Crush. So stop by and enjoy the 50-50 draw at the Eagles. That sounds like a fun night. That sounds like a great night. Four bands. There's all kinds of great nightlife, though. I know Heather's was hopping last night. Absolutely. Ambiance had a nice crowd. I mean, there's great stuff to do at Christmas Lots of Springboro. Lots things to do this weekend at the festival. Absolutely. Coldwell Banker Heritage Realtors Springboro office has the area's leading real estate professionals serving the Springboro and surrounding areas. Congratulations. The number one firm with the highest market share, bringing you the knowledge and expertise you deserve and our third place float, and I can see why. Congratulations! What a beautiful float. Congratulations, Coldwell Banker. They're sitting around the fireplace in their beautiful home having a great time. I love it, how beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And next we're welcoming Rembrandt Roofing and Restoration. Rembrandt Roofing and Restoration since 1995. We're your hometown roofing and siding experts. Springboro, we've got you covered. What a neat float. And adorable children. And the Pink Panther, you can't go wrong. You never can. Check out Maurice's, a specialty women's clothing boutique catering to women of all shapes and sizes. They offer hometown styles that easily translate from work to a night out at Christmas in Springboro. Which everyone needs. And next up, we are welcoming, welcoming our Rotary Club, who was responsible for those gorgeous decorations down at Rotary Park. Looks amazing. Springboro Rotary Club has been serving the Springboro community since 2003, from building Rotary Park to distributing dictionaries to every third grader. The Springboro Rotary is always looking for opportunities to act on their motto, service above self. We love our Rotarians. Absolutely. And the decorations look incredible. We appreciate that again. They're always hardworking and they're always up to good. That's right. Oh, and we've got Henderson Turf Farm. Yes. 
They're located right in your neighborhood since 1960. They have quality sod and seed, as well as a variety of your landscape needs. So give them a call. It's 937-748-1559, or just stop into their office. And we welcome our Knights of Columbus. The Knights of Columbus membership is nearly 2 million men wow. and did 76 million hours of charity serving communities around the world, including disaster relief, Special Olympics, Global Wheelchair Initiative, Ultrasound Initiative, Habitat for Humanity, and many others. They would like to send their love and best wishes to Dick Tracy. He turned 100 years young on, in October. He's a World War II veteran and earned two Purple Hearts as a Marine, 100 years of faith and patriotism. I don't know if you can tell, but it's snowing, so that's pretty amazing. Don't miss Schmidt Auto Care, an advanced automotive facility specializing in both foreign and domestic vehicles. And then we are welcoming our Special Olympics of Greater Dayton. <laughs> Special Olympics Greater Dayton provides athletic and sports training and competition to those citizens with de developmental disabilities. We provide sports opportunities in bowling, basketball, volleyball, roller skating, gymnastics, soccer, swimming, softball, track and field, and bocce for athletes eight years old and up. They had some canine friends with them today that were looking pretty cute. We love having a special Olympians in our parade. Absolutely. Oh, and we're welcoming On Cue 4-H Club. These kids are part of the On Cue 4-H Club, the horse and donkeys live at Corner House Performance Horses in Lebanon. Aren't they cute? We have gotten to see so many great and cute animals so far, and these guys take the cake. I agree, they are precious. Really super cute. They belong in a live nativity somewhere. And so calm and well behaved. I agree. They're not nearly as ornery as we are. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here come the tree schoolers from Tiny Tree Child Care. It's a new business here in Springboro, and they'll be opening their new location very soon. They're in the process of becoming the very first certified organic child care in the state of Ohio. Please visit, visit them at tinytree.us for more information. Limited spots are still available. That's neat, an organic child care center. And here comes the Gymnastics Training Center of Ohio. I see ladies walking on their hands. They have their handstands down. They do. That's impressive. GTCO, they are located in Franklin. They have preschool, tumbling, birthday parties, cheer, and gymnastics. And they have been around forever because I took gymnastics there. You did? I totally did. Next up is the Girl Scout Daisy Troop 30002. They're led by Dora Weiss and Laura Liu. Hi guys, welcome. Oh, Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Adorable. I love all those little faces. <laughs> Rural King is honored to be part of the Springboro Christmas Parade. Our store located between Lebanon and South Lebanon off of Bypass 48 is filled with Christmas ideas and spirit for the entire family and your furry friends as well. The Rural King family wishes you a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. Enjoy the frosty holidays. Our first singer of the day, welcome. What a great float. <laughs> my voice does not sound like that, so you guys are welcome. Hey, that here I come some see. of my favorite faces, the Springboro Area Historical Society. Hi, everybody. Hi, Chris Britton. 
The Spring Grove Area Historical Society was founded in 1993 and is dedicated to preserving the history of Spring Grove. The society operates the museum in the historic district and the Knoll House in Heatherwood. Stop by and visit us after the parade. Hi, Don Wright. Hi, Don. We've How got a you? legend in our presence. It is a Spring Grove legend. And I'm seeing something very presidential as well coming up in a moment. <laughs> There's Don. And the Symphony at Centerville. Symphony at Centerville is a memory care community specializing in Alzheimer's and dementia. Next up we have the Bear Hair. <laughs> It's a local nonprofit that raises awareness for an autoimmune disease called alopecia, which causes people to lose their hair. This year is the fifth anniversary for their annual 5K, and they've raised over $20,000 for alopecia charities. They want to invite you to their annual 5K in April to help them fight for a cure. Be bald, be brave, be beautiful. I love it. And next we welcome the pantry. The pantry serving residents of Spring Grove, Franklin, and Carlisle. Open five days every week, providing groceries, financial assistance, holiday programs and information, and referral to the area families in need. Volunteer based and always looking for new volunteers to join our staff passionate about helping others. Since 1979, that is really That's impressive. That's impressive. Oh, here comes some dancers. The Dynamite Gals and Guys are from Joyce Dalton Baton and Dance Studio in Centerville. They have won many regional and national champion titles in group solos and duets. They are the current 2019 regional and national award winners of their group solo and duets with several cash awards also. So proud of our gals and guys. They love being in this Spring Row Christmas Parade and have a fun time dancing down the street. This is the part of the parade where it gets really quiet and really cool. <laughs> this is Drive Electric Dayton. It's a group for enthusiastic owners of electric vehicles and those who are interested in purchasing an EV in the Dayton, Ohio area. Many of their members are Springboro residents. The members host and participate in events throughout the year, including ride and drive programs in which we invite the public to take a free test drive in an EV. The events are announced on their Facebook page and you can RSVP to participate and learn all of the how to go details. Wow, it is really quiet. I love this part. It's I always do too. so neat. I love seeing all the cars come by, all the different styles, and they're all so quiet. We've and had efficient. a couple Teslas, a Ford, there's a BMW. I see another couple Teslas coming. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They are really neat. My, one of my favorite things about the Tesla, and I know it might sound trivial, are the door handles. I know, they're super cool. They're so Jetsons. They are very <laughs> Jetsons. I think the doors are fun, too. This is really, really neat. Look at that. And how often do you get to drive down the main street with your doors open? With the doors open. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Thank you for coming today. That's an awesome vehicle. Model X. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness. here they are. The stars of the show and the official end of our parade and the official beginning of the Christmas season. Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Welcome. Merry Christmas. We have Santa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is officially the end of our parade this year. We thank you for joining us. We thank you for braving the weather. And of course, we thank you for supporting Historic Springboro. We love that you're here supporting the vendors, and we ask that you support all of the businesses on the street that are not just open during the festival, but that are also open the other 11 and a half months of the year. Absolutely. Merry Christmas, Carrie. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas, Lisa. Thank you so much for being the co-host again this My year. You pleasure. did a great job. Thank you for inviting me back. I love it. What a great day. Well, thank you. All right, everybody, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful new year, and we will see you again in 2020.